the Chicago Music Exchange and today I'm showcasing for you a sick nasty 61 TV yellow Les Paul special all original custom color finish like a common custom color but still custom color TV yellow has uh, aged quite nicely tons of cool checking and whatnot um, original tuners original everything um, worth noting the bridge as I'm playing it is a Mojo X uh, compensated wraparound replacement. Uh, the original bridge is in its original case, which we have, but this was on it when we got it and it works and it sounds really good, so we just leave it there. Completely untouched internally. Um, beautiful, beautiful looking and playing guitar. The neck is perfect. I mean, you know, if you like that 61 Gibson neck, like the slim neck, this is it. This is like the quintessential 61 neck. You can see, very thin, plays great. This thing is super snappy, super resonant. Great sounding P90s, the bridge P90 especially. Just plug it into an amp and crank it and it just sounds like rock and roll from, this, from the 60s and 70s. Also, which you know, you'll know you see a close up, this Brazilian rosewood board is awesome. It's got this really cool stripe that goes through the right hand side and you can see it starts down here and goes kind of tails off here, but just looks really cool. I think it's in great shape. A little bit of binding shrinkage, which again, it happens. It's a, you know, 54-year-old guitar. Um, and there is a cavity crack. It doesn't go all the way through the guitar. It's not structurally significant. Um, doesn't affect it at all, but worth noting because it's there. Um, but that's that. This thing is awesome. It just makes you want to play classic rock riffs on it all day. Mountain and Thin Lizzy and Rush and cool stuff like that. Um, playing it through this Lewis Electric KR12, which is a pretty badass amplifier. I just cranked it. Like the cleaner stuff is just rolling off the, the volume on the guitar itself. The amp is kind of just dimed out. Really good like tweed deluxe or like basement type of overdrive. Which again lends itself very well to this guitar. You just want to strum big open overdriven chords on it. And it sounds great and it's really fun to play. Hope you dig it. 